Even some of this, this romaine, four dollars each. Oh my gosh, am I at Whole Foods? A pound though. I mean, you can find these in the supermarket. I thought there'd be some bargains here, but um, I'm not seeing a lot. All these, always the red peppers are always expensive, a dollar fifty each for them, and that's just the way it is. Seedless watermelons. How come they're so expensive all the time this year? Is it? Take a look. Yeah, I know they're six dollars. Is it? I mean, we're here in Florida. What? Uh, usually on the side of the road, they're three bucks. Is it a shortage this year of watermelons? Well, you know what? The best place to find fruit and vegetables, guess where? At a flea market. And this is called Red Barn Flea Market. Red, Bar Red Barn Flea Market in Bradenton, Florida. And I'm going to go in there. My wife wants some okra. I want some tomatoes and some onions. Let's see what we can do. Let's check the prices. Let's go. It's not, it's not a sunny day in Florida. I don't know what happened. Where's the sunshine? <laughs> but, uh... There's a lot of people that come to this uh, Red Barn Flea Market, and this is this is the place if you want to shop for inexpensive vegetables here, this is the place to go. Lots of people come here, so we're going to check out the prices. Look at this right off the bat. Oh, look, here's some okra right here. Look at this. I don't see what the price is on it, but uh, cucumbers are a dollar. Corn here, three for two dollars for corn. Seems a little pricey, doesn't it? Mangoes a dollar fifty each. Oh, I don't know, they're a little soft too. Let's let's see what else they have here. Let's see what else. Green onions a dollar. Green onions a dollar. Asparagus three dollars. You know what? This seems expensive. <laughs> the leeks right here, three fifty for three of them. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I need to find a better place. Even some of this, this romaine, four dollars each. Oh my gosh, am I at Whole Foods? <laughs> oh, some grapefruit for a dollar each here. I thought I'd find some bargains here, but I, I guess not. I'm, I'm not really seeing some bargains here. Roma tomatoes, a dollar fifty each here. They're really nice. I really love uh, Roma tomatoes and. Uh, uh, and my sandwiches and everything. These are just really good. Even for making spaghetti sauce, the, the Roma tomatoes are the best. Jalapenos are a dollar fifty a pound here. These are really these are these are huge. <laughs> oh my gosh! You ever seen a jalapeno that big? <laughs> well, here's here's a good deal. Limes are four for a dollar. So, and um, <laughs> that's that's what you really want. That's how they should be. Lemons three for a buck. So. That's what we like to see. Lemons, three for a dollar. Really nice right here. Yep, I like that. I like that deal. Onion bags, three dollars. So that's not bad for the onions. Oh, the red onions, a dollar fifty a pound. I've seen them for 99 cents, not even a year ago in some of the supermarkets. White onions, a buck twenty-five. Spanish, a dollar. Oh, I need some onions too. Dollar a pound. That's really good right there. That's a good deal right there. And um, look at sweet potatoes, 65 cents. That's pretty good right there. You know, I know it's uh, the season's over, but still better than at the supermarket. Oh, look at the apples, $3 for a basket. $3 for a basket. Gala apples. Very nice. No oh, grape tomatoes. These are good. Very nice. Grape tomatoes. All these, always the red peppers are always expensive, a dollar fifty each for them, and that's just the way it is. A dollar fifty each. Green peppers are a dollar, but you know they're not the hot house in the manufactured uh, green peppers you see at the at Walmart. That's for sure. They all look the same. They're engineered. Honeydews four dollars. Cantaloupes three fifty. Man, I tell you, cantaloupes have really gone up. Now here's here's a bigger place here that I'm shopping at, but grapefruits five dollars a bag, so that's about a dollar each, right? Limes four for a dollar. That seems to be typical. Red cabbage three dollars each. Honeydews four fifty. Cantaloupes. Everything. They're always. These look really nice though. They look better than the store ones. Three seventy five. That's a good deal. Pineapples. Seedless watermelons. How come they're so expensive all the time this year? Is it? Yeah, I know they're six dollars. Is it? I mean, we're here in Florida. What? Uh, usually on the side of the road, they're three bucks. Is it a shortage this year of watermelons? No. You know, 
Oh, uh, that's okay. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I mean, there's like a shortage of watermelons or something. Oh, I see some, I see some eggs right here. Eggs, eight, eight dollars, see the eggs? They look great, don't they? Eggs, eight dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, you get 24 of them for eight bucks. That's a good deal. Yeah, that's a good deal right there. Yeah. No, I'm just looking at the eggs. That's a good deal on the eggs. You see the eggs are a really good deal. Asparagus here, two dollars. Oh, look at that dandelion. <laughs> People use dandelion. Celery, two dollars. Zucchini, three for a dollar. See, this looks good. Look at the size of these red peppers. Look at the size of these guys. There's my hand. That's huge. <laughs> Look at the size of these guys. That's really big. Those are huge, huge red peppers. I love them on the grill. And right here, uh, what do they call that? Combrine. I did, they just look like big um, uh, green onions to me. Oh, and here's, look at the size of these carrots. $2 a bag. Look at these guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that lasts my pair in a year. <laughs> Strawberries, again, $4 a box here. And we're in Florida, and look, the boxes aren't even full. Kiwis, two for a buck. I tell you, this, uh, this it's inflation everywhere. Dragon fruit, three fifty. And remember, I think we saw it at Whole Foods and the other ones, $7 each. Pomegranates, $2 each. Plantain, 75 cents each. My gosh. Bananas, yeah, two two pounds for a dollar, but you gotta eat these gotta be eaten today. Mangoes a buck fifty each. They're really big though, nice size to them. Here's banana these bananas are okay, 75 cents a pound though. I mean you can find these in the supermarket. I thought there'd be some bargains here, but um I'm not seeing a lot. Just not seeing a lot today. You know, one thing they, they make here are these mango shakes, and, and they make them fresh here, too. Look at this this place. This looks really neat. You get your different flavors here. They're really neat. You guys make mango shakes here? Mango shakes? Mango shakes, yeah, mango. No, no, not at all, hon. Sorry. Oh, the Vidalia onions, dollar twenty-five a pound right here. These look great right there. Look at that. Red onions, a dollar twenty-five a pound. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Yellow onions for a dollar. White onions for a buck twenty-five. That's not bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. I gotta find my wife. She's here somewhere. Green peppers, a buck twenty-five. But look at the red peppers; these are huge. These are huge. They're, those are huge peppers right there. Those are the biggest peppers I've seen. And the orange peppers, a dollar. That's a pretty good deal. That's not bad right there. Oh, I, I like these right here. I forgot what they call these, but these are just delicious. Look at the size of them too. The peppers are really hot peppers. Look at this gingers, three dollars a pound. That's that's a really good price right there. Uh, yucca right here, a dollar. Garlic, two fifty. But I'm surprised that the seedless watermelons are six dollars each, even at a flea market. My wife is trying to find a papaya. I have to figure out what they look like. Uh, <laughs> papaya. Where's papaya? That's papaya. How much? It's $1.25 a pound. It says it right on there, hon. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's not too bad. Limes are always four for a dollar. Lemons, three for a buck. So that's good. That's about average here. Jalapenos, buck fifty a pound. And um, red potatoes, white potatoes, a buck fifty. Red potatoes, $1.59. It just seems like there's the 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 red um, onions a buck fifty nine a pound, Vidalia's a dollar fifty, and looks like the white onions a dollar fifty. So uh, my gosh, 
Red Delicious, $1.50. I saw them at Target for $1.69. And here's some Gala apples, $1.50. Granny Smith, $1.50. Apples are a lot better. Let's look at the watermelons. Let's see, what are the watermelons here? Cantaloupe, $4 still. $4 for cantaloupe. I don't see the price of the watermelon. I don't see the price of the watermelon. The last place had them for six. Six bucks for the watermelon, but the honeydews are five dollars, so yep, I'm not I'm not seeing the bargains. Head of cabbage is two fifty, so there you go. There's your prices. Oh my wife was calling me. You know, after going in the flea market, I thought I'd find some bargains here. I thought there weren't any bargains any. I didn't think at all. A very few. I mean, humongous red peppers, but I did manage to get some kettle corn for five dollars, so I'm gonna give it a try. My wife wanted papaya, so I got that. But I was really surprised. I mean, you'd think that the prices would be would be better, but six dollars even for the watermelons, and and you saw some of the um, uh, the green peppers, and, and then the red peppers, even two fifty each. The green peppers, things were more expensive than than if you want the sprouts or even. Uh, uh, at Walmart, I, you know, really surprised. I thought it would be cheaper, but I mean, uh, the cost of vegetables is really going up. Uh, just, I mean, this is this is uh, look at inflation even at the uh, even at the uh, the flea market here. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm gonna try some roadside stands and see what kind of prices they have there because Florida, I mean, they grow so many vegetables here. I mean, it, it just like two growing seasons here, uh, really excellent. But the the flea market. I, I don't know. I would recommend coming here. They, the the produce didn't look fresh, so. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. I, you know, I thought the flea market would be better. But anyways, we're going to find some other places to go to, show you some prices, how you can save money. But give me a thumbs up or a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.